Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a pattern using double attractors and how to adjust the location of the pattern. So how about I open a new file, either metric architectural or a default metric, any of the two would be good. I would like to change the units by typing UN to meters, three decimal places before I start and manage dyno. Uh, let's open a new file. Uh, let's say maybe I want to have a point, geometry points point, point by coordinates, maybe x, y, z, and I want to have a sequence or a list. So if you go to list, generate sequence is under list, sequence of points, right? I want to assign it to x, I want to have a different sequence, assign it maybe to Y, and I want to go with cross product, so we have a grid, right? Uh, now let's say I want to also assign uh, some integer sliders to the amount, so maybe on the X direction, I want to have at least, uh, let's say, five points and at most 15, and I want to assign one other integer slider. You can go with Ctrl C, Ctrl V, assign this one to Y, to the amount, right? For the distance in between the points, we can bring another number slider, and let's say the points, we want them to be as close as, let's say, 0.2, which is 20 centimeters, and uh, we don't want them to be further away than maybe one meter, right? So this can go to step size. Uh, maybe I can keep for now the same step size on both sides. Uh, and another thing is that you can assign a number slider to the start. So let's say I want to go with a negative number. Let's say negative 40, negative 30 to 30. Right, uh, and I want to assign this to start. So what happens if that, if I move this to left and right, the whole pattern would be uh, relocated actually, okay? And how about I control C, control V here for this one as well, um, because I want the start point of the Y axis to be also uh, something that we can change, right? So far we have a grid of points and because uh, we cross product the uh, set of points, it will create one list inside another list, right? So I want to also flatten and see what happens when I flatten the set of points. It will only be one list and all items are in one list. So instead of L3, L2, L1 here, I have L2, L1, which means all of them are in one list. Um, now, so let's say maybe, so far I want to make this a group, create group. I want to rename it as a grid of points. And I want to create a set of circles here inside them. And then I want to create some polygons, but for now, my next plan is to use two circles as two attractors. I want to go with one circle. It's over there. And I want to create a point to assign to the center point of that circle. Right? How about I just remove this connection so you can see that. Uh, this circle that I created here is going to be uh, my uh, attractor object. I would like to assign a number slider to the X and Y of the center point of the attractor circle. How about I use the same number slider that we had, Control C, Control V, and this goes to X and Y here. Uh, I'm going to remove that circle for now. Okay, so. Uh, now you see that this is the circle. This is going to be our attractor uh, circle. Uh, how about I assign two different number sliders so I can move X freely without moving Y. Okay, so somewhere around here, 
this is going to be um, uh, the location maybe of the first attractor circle that we have maybe I can assign some number like 3 to the radius I will also want to have a second uh, circle okay and I will assign a different code block maybe 7 to the radius of the second circle or maybe I can go with 2 here and 5 here so they are a little bit more close to the pattern so uh, and just taking a look at this if I want it to be closer to somewhere around the center I can move this slightly uh, to right okay now this seems better uh, next I want to get the distance from the first attractor uh, so if I clarify what I did here these groups of nodes are responsible to create my attractor circle number one these two nodes are responsible to create attractor circle number two so uh, create group I want to copy this name control C here control V and this is number two okay so now what I want to do is that I want to get the distance once from the points and the first circle and the second time from the points and the second circle sorry first circle and second circle okay then I want to create a set of circles by center point radius on all the center points and for the radius of it I want to be the minimum of these two values okay uh, maybe divided by 10 or something so I want to go with uh, m divided by 10 m I'm thinking is short for minimum or you can go with minimum divided by 10 that goes there apparently 10 is too big so I want to reduce this number so the circles are larger right so see what happens if the circles are closer to the first attractor object they are following that pattern if they are closer to the outside uh, object they are following uh, that one now let's say maybe instead of 12 I want to go with 10 values for my x and then I want to move the two circles a little bit to the left I can also assign a value how about I go with two and a half or something okay and uh, how about I actually change this to nine only and move this a little bit more to the left so I want to go with 2.2 or 2.1 I want to also maybe move this a little bit up so uh, let's see I want to go with let's say 0.5 or maybe 0.4 okay something like that so uh, how about I also create some polygons so this is how double attractor works and uh, I want to go with polygon polygon inscribed within a circle and I just want to go with four-sided polygons which is a square I can hide this okay and uh, I want to increase a little bit the radius of the outer object or I can go with five and a half something like this so I think uh, this overall okay now um, I want to also patch these items to become surfaces because you cannot act, uh, you cannot import uh, actually polygons alone into Revit so I want them to be surfaces and you see that we have 54 surfaces here right so uh, how about next I use import but before that I want to change this to manual I want to go with import by geometries so maybe this one 
uh, and I can send it into Revit. But before doing that, let's actually uh, see where the pattern is in Revit. Uh, how about I do this? I want to put my two views, Dynamo and Revit, kind of side by side. Here is the thing. Let's say we have a floor around here, architecture floor. So I'm looking for a floor here. And let's say it's kind of like eight by five or six, I want to, or nine by six, maybe that's the size of the floor. Okay, so uh, I can either import the objects and then adjust the location, or this is what else I want to show you here before importing. So I want to adjust the pattern location, not on Revit maybe, but on Dynamo itself. Uh, how about before importing, I put this on automatic, and uh, I, want, I can use these number sliders uh, actually to adjust the location. So let's say maybe I want to move uh, the Y point because I want to move all of them down. So this goes down, maybe it's too far now. So somewhere around here, if I go, let's say negative six or negative five and a half, even negative five, uh, if you want to adjust this in Dynamo, you can do so. That's what I'm trying to show you here. Uh, now, more or less, the pattern is uh, inside uh, the floor, but I want to change the center line of the attractor circles also down there. So, how about I go with negative 3, negative... 2.5 maybe right now you see it's more or less around the center um, that's good I also want to change this size by dividing by 4 so they're a little bit smaller right so you can either as I talked about you can either um, first import and then adjust the location over there or you can adjust the location using uh, the options here. Feel free to change the step size, right? Maybe we can go with for the step size with negative, let's say eight. So they're gonna be smaller. Sorry, uh, point eight to the step size, right? And now they're smaller. In that case, if they are smaller, then I need to increase uh, the number of the point so instead of six I can go with eight here and on the x direction maybe instead of nine uh, I can go with uh, eleven apparently eight is too much here I'll go with seven okay so now it's getting better I want to change the start point a little bit again so negative point six let's say so the whole thing is going to move up or negative 0.7 right so this is how you can adjust the pattern uh, in dynamo how about i change the x value i want to go with something like uh, 2.1 or uh, 1.95 because I wanted to move a little bit to the left side right so now this is better how about I go with 1.97 so or close to 1 point or actually 2 itself let's try 2 okay uh, so now this is getting better uh, right so how about I start importing them. I want to increase this number by a little bit so the patterns are a little bit smaller. Make sure to run it again just in case it's not working. 4.3. Okay, now it's good. Feel free to scale it uh, because we know that in Revit 2022 it's going to be uh, imported in feet, 
no matter what unit you have assigned, you need to assign the uh, conversion factor from feet to meters, which is 0 0.3048 to the amount and then imported. I want to run this. And now you see that the object is actually okay, but it's over there. So feel free to save and close your Dynamo file. And then you just need to uh, move the object uh, close to where you have your floor. And uh, you see it's exactly on the floor if I go to shade it. Just to avoid uh, actually any overlapping, I want to assign a small value such as 1 millimeter, 0 0.001. So it's a little bit above the floor. And feel free to go to Manage, Object Styles, Imported Objects, and you can assign uh, material from the menu over here. I want to create uh, a new material. Uh, I want to go with maybe some kind of marble. Feel free to check your library and go to Asset Browser under the stones. I want to go with this one. Rose Marble close this and I want to change it here so I can also follow the color here as well. This kind of a rose color. Okay, okay, and okay. So that's uh, how you can adjust the dimensions.